Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here. A week ago I did a review on a TAC Life DM01M multimeter and that multimeter turned out to be a really good meter. Lots of features packed into it and the price was very affordable. So I decided to pick up two other multimeter from TAC Life. Over here, this is the DM03 and this one is DM04. Now these two are smaller than the DM01M that I reviewed, which makes them very portable. You can put them in your toolbox or tool bag or leave one in your home so you have it when you need it. Now at the time of doing this review, the DM03 retail for $22 and the DM04 retail for $19. I'll put both links in the description below. Let's open them up so you can see what these multimeter look like. Here is a DM03. You have a 9 volt battery. Here's the multimeter. Test leads and the manual. This is a DM04. To install the battery, turn this over. There's a Phillips screw that you need to remove. Install the 9 volt battery. On the DM04, you also need to remove this Phillips screw. To give you a comparison look of the DM01M I reviewed last week, I'm going to put it side by side here. Here's the DM01M compared to DM03 and DM04. Now both of these multimeter come with a protective rubber case, as you can see. Let's go through the features you get with these multimeters. On the left, the DM03, here we have the function button. This will allow you to toggle between modes within a measurement. So for example, if I turn the selector switch over to the dialed measurement and I press this function button here, it will toggle over to continuity test. Press it again, it will go back to dialed test. The next button is the hold button. This will hold the measured value on the screen so you can see what the value is. Next one is a max hold value. With the max hold value, if you test something with a higher reading, it will hold that higher value on the LCD display. Let me give you an example of the max hold function. So I'm going to turn this to the DC voltage measurement, and then I'll press the max button. So right now the max value is 11.3 millivolt, even though I have nothing connected to the test lead. So I have this cable that's connected to a power supply. At the end of this connector, I have 12 volt coming out. Let me measure this and watch the display. So it measures 12.3 volt DC. Now I'm going to disconnect the lead from the connector and it'll hold it. So that's a maximum value that it measured. The next button over is the backlighting for the LCD. So if you press this for a second, it'll turn on the backlight on the LCD. Press and hold for another second, it'll turn it off. Here I have the rotary selector switch and we have DC voltage, AC voltage, ohm, Dialed and continuity test, frequency, current measurement in microamp, milliamp, or amp. And if you turn this all the way over here, this is also the off position, same as this one here. On the DM04 multimeter here, we have the function button to toggle between modes within a measurement. So, for example, if I turn this to the voltage reading and I press the function button, right now it's on DC, press it once, it'll go to AC measurement press it again, it'll go back to DC measurement. Same as for ohm, continuity, and dial test. You can toggle between different modes. This middle button here is for turning on the backlight of the LCD and this multimeter has a little flashlight I'll show you in a sec. So I press this for two seconds and the backlight illuminates and if you look over here 
We have a small flashlight at the end here. Press and hold for two seconds. It'll turn off both the flashlight and the backlighting. One thing to note with this multimeter is that there is a maximum current measurement of 200 milliamp for both DC and AC current. So it's not a lot, but you need to be aware of that so you don't damage this multimeter. On the DM03, you can measure current up to 10 amp. Using the selector switch here, you can set it to measure microamp, milliamp, middle position is off, voltage, ohm, continuity test, and dial test. Now, you'll notice on these icons here, there's both a DC and AC symbol there. What that means is that if you're measuring the current, let's say milliamp, you need to use the function button to toggle between AC and DC measurement. Both of these multimeters are auto-ranging. What it means is that if you notice the voltage measurement here or here, you don't need to specify what is the voltage range you're measuring. It will automatically move the decimal point to show you the value that you're measuring So at. here I've connected both multimeters to my power strip here and it's measuring the AC voltage coming out. As you can see, both are showing 119 volt AC. On this DM03, you also have a stand that you can flip out and it'll help you with seeing the reading when you're doing the measurement. Another nice feature on the DM04 is that there is a NCV or non-contact voltage sensor right here. So if I was to point this towards this power strip with AC voltage, you'll see the red LED illuminates. So that tells you there's live voltage nearby. If you look at the set of test leads that come with these multimeters, you'll notice the metal tip at the end is very short. And there's actually a rubber sleeve you can remove to expose the entire test lead. The reason they included this is that if you're going to be testing something that's high voltage or in a close quarter where you don't want to risk the chance of the two test leads shorting out, you can put these rubber sleeves on, therefore only having this amount of metal exposed to do the actual testing. Otherwise, if you remove this and you're in a close, tight spot, you might accidentally touch these two test leads together. Now in this video, I'm not going to get into all the details of using a multimeter to test diodes, resistors, uh, DC voltage, AC voltage. In my last review of the DM01M, I did go into a bit more details using that multimeter. I also have a series of videos I made uh, maybe a couple years ago on using multimeter to do all those testing. And I'll include those links in the description below so you can check it out. In this video, I just want to give you a quick overview and highlight some of the nice features that these multimeters come with. I hope you find the information helpful if you are looking for an affordable multimeter. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.